Okay, what we are looking at here is a 1 350th scale model of the third Ford class carrier. That's the new class of carrier the United States is now building. The first of which was the Gerald Ford, which has been commissioned already into the United States Navy. This is the third of the class, which will be called the USS Enterprise CVN-80. Now there is no model of this aircraft carrier. What I have done is I've taken a 1 350th scale trumpeter USS Nimitz model and rebuilt it into a Ford class carrier. As you might be able to see, what I've done in doing this is I've put a futuristic air wing aboard the aircraft carrier. That air wing includes many F-35C joint strike fighters and you see them around the deck, some of them with their wings folded, others preparing to launch like that group in the middle. But also it includes the U-class drones which will be the follow on to the X-47B, which has already been tested off of the Nimitz class carriers. And more importantly, it includes two versions of the FA-XX sixth generation fighters for the US Navy. One designed by Grumman, which is that one there in the middle, without the canards and one designed by Boeing with the canards. And so I have a deck full of these aircraft to show this carrier as it will appear in the 2030 time frame, maybe 2035. Also, in addition to that, we will have the new carrier onboard delivery aircraft, which was just selected recently, and that's the new C. MV-22 uh, Osprey conversion. It's going to replace the Greyhounds. And more importantly, or as importantly at least, it includes the self-defense systems that will be online by then. Uh, and that includes the new lasers and the new railguns. As you can see here in the aft sponsons, I have both a railgun, therefore, and a laser weapon system there behind. Also, of course, the ESSM missile launcher. In the very back, we have a Phalanx 20 millimeter close-in weapon system. And then on the other sponson back here, we have, again, a laser weapon system and a rail gun. These are very modern, it takes a lot of electricity to power these um, weapon systems, but the Ford class has that power. It has new um, nuclear reactors that are 200% more powerful than the ones that power the Nimitz. Also, of course, we have the new island for the Ford class, which is back there or, you know, towards, it's a further aft on the carrier. And, of course, the wide aft end of the carrier, which provide much more maintenance and working space for the crew. This crew also is smaller than what you have on the existing Nimitz class carrier. Up to a thousand people, maybe 1,200 less than what exists on the Nimitz class carrier. So that's what we've got. We've got a Ford class carrier, the Enterprise, which is a very famous name, of course, in United States carriers. Also, we want to switch on the lights here. I have built out the hangar deck. We'll take a look inside, and you can see that. There is a complete build-out of the inside of the hangar deck 
with aircraft, personnel, and equipment. Let's look at this one here. Yeah. Very well done. Wonderful uh, representation of the USS Enterprise. And again, I've got the personnel on deck launching the aircraft and preparing them for launch. This depicts an all-out full-force launch using all four catapults uh, to launch a very large strike group at whatever it is they are planning to attack. So, there you have it. The USS Enterprise CVN-80 in 1 350th scale. Let's not forget the forward sponsons here for the weapons. Another ESSM launcher, another Phalanx on the starboard side. And then on the port side, we have a ram launcher, similar to the one that was on the starboard aft sponson that we looked at a moment ago. So there you have the USS Enterprise CVN-80 in 1 350th scale. Thanks for watching.